Hello everyone, it's James back with Beyond Lucid Dreaming, and I gotta say, I really didn't expect to be making another one of these so soon, but I really feel it's necessary. There's been a really big drama unfolding in the Lucid Dreaming community lately, and I can actually say that now it's the Lucid Dreaming community at large, because it's now across multiple platforms. Now, I don't want to get too much into how this entire situation started. Rather, I want to go from a specific point in the story because a lot's happened. It would be a very long video. I want to try to keep this as short as it can be, though I have a tendency to talk on and on. What happened is, <laughs> and I'm going to leave a link for this video in the description below so that you can see this, and that's a mirror to the video that was released um, that I'm going to be talking about here. But So I released a video about a week or two ago now, in which I exposed the owner of the channel Explore Lucid Dreaming as a known 17-year-old Canadian scammer, and I'm trying to be very careful with my speech so that this video can't be taken down, but uh, I found evidence that the owner of the channel Explore Lucid Dreaming is a 17-year-old known Canadian scammer and sub and view botter who other people in the past had exposed um, in other YouTube channels they had done in other endeavors where essentially they had entire channels set up that were made for the express purpose of scamming people. So yeah, there's a lot to unpack there, but essentially it's pretty conclusive that I proved the owner of the channel is the same. So yeah, definitely check out the link in the description below um, to really get the full context of what's going on here because this does affect the entire lucid dreaming community and it's very insidious. So I created that expose video and then Explore Lucid Dreaming claimed that video. So I got a copyright strike. And so that video is no longer available, even though that video did really well. That got 3,000 views in the first day, which is huge for me and, and my small channel. And people were talking about it um, in the comments of that video, obviously, and over on the Lucid Dreaming subreddit and in the Facebook Lucid Dreaming groups. It was This was a big thing, and people... It was like a really weird day because people were like attacking me for making this video, and then you get this reaction later, like 30 minutes later when they finished the video, they would like come back and comment, oh my God, you're right. Like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe this. Like it, it's that compelling. And so word was getting out and then things just got really weird. Um, that day, Explore Lucid Dreaming put up a, an ask me anything on the AMA subreddit to distract from this, I think. And that just got massive upvotes, like, really quickly, pretty unreal. And someone brought that to the attention in the thread that was going on in the Lucid Dreaming subreddit. And so myself and others from that thread went over to the AMA and started telling people in the comments what was going on, uh, that this guy was exposed for being a scammer and for botting subs and views. And I even contacted the mods of the AMA subreddit and they said that they were suspicious about that thread anyway and that they suspect that this is a repeat offender that they've had causing trouble in their AMA before. So they they actually locked that thread I believe and and kind of that that was that. Oh and, and it's probably worth mentioning around this time already that this is this this had come out. This was already in the Lucid Dreaming subreddit a a tired topic for some of the mods. I know um, that like myself, Daniel, uh, Love as well had been spamming, uh, quote unquote spamming is, is what it's called now when you bring uh, problems in the community to the attention of people in the community. Um, that I guess is called spamming now. Um, but the, the reason we had to create so many threads is because if you go to the Lucid Dreaming subreddit, you'll notice this now. You can actually search this within that subreddit. Um, just search Explore Lucid Dreaming and see what you find. And notice that many of the threads that mention Explore Lucid Dreaming in the title are heavily downvoted. And that had been ongoing. So this person is not only botting subs and views on YouTube, but it's also happening on Reddit as well, where um, he's upvoting 
his uh, post with all these bot accounts to bolster his stuff while also suppressing people who are criticizing him. And that, I have a huge problem with that because I am, <laughs> I don't know if I'd say a patriot, you know, but I'm a, the thing that I am an American about is free speech. And when you begin to suppress spree, free speech, <laughs> free speech, free speech and my ability to express myself and interact with people transparently, I get very angry. So yeah, that's why it was necessary. So it was already a tired topic to some of the mods in uh, our lucid dreaming. So yeah, they'd asked us to stop posting about it. So at this point, we can't really post anything else in the subreddit on this issue, which I think is very, very sad. So as soon as the my video was claimed, the next day I got up, my video had been claimed. And so, I mean, I'd fought it, but to no effect. And so Daniel Love swooped in and started mirroring that video and getting the word out even more. Posted a video on his channel as well, which I should also link down in the description. So we were still trying to get this out to people for, I mean, up until the, like, just a couple days ago. Today is September the 15th, so we've been at this for a couple of weeks. And we've tried to, been trying to get people involved, and I think to pretty good effect. Um, I've heard from a lot of you guys, and I've had a lot of support since releasing that video. And, I mean, it, it just... This, that's the one thing that's given me hope about this situation. Um, so I'm very appreciative for everyone who's participated in this, been a part of this, everyone who's subscribed uh, since I released that video. Um, it does mean a lot. So thank you. And together we are going to improve this community because um, none of us in this story, um, at least that I know, are back and down. Anyway, so we're looking at, at ways to fight this because it seems that YouTube is doing nothing even though we've gotten many people to report his channel and his videos and his multiple channels. And meanwhile, uh, Explore Lucid Dreaming must have reported this other person's channel who I had uh, was able to use their videos because they exposed him in the past on his other channel, is Flowify. Um, this person called Flowify Exposer 2017, their channel is, has now, I think it's the channel might be deleted now, um, but it definitely had all the videos removed that were exposing the owner of the channel, Explore Lucid Dreaming, um, in the past. So it seems that Explore Lucid Dreaming is trying to take down all the things online that he possibly can to bury the truth here. So anyway, we're just thinking of other ways that we could go at this. And so we, we realized that if Explore Lucid Dreaming is actually botting subs and views, um, and he is, then then you can imagine that all of these views are not coming from actual people. These are actually just coming in from these dead, stupid bot accounts, right? They're, they're not actually being seen by human eyes. So all these people who are advertising on his video are the only ones who are actually being harmed. I would say the lucid dreaming community is being harmed, but uh, financially in this uh, situation. The only people being harmed, I'd say, is Explore Lucid Dreaming's advertisers who are not actually being met with real human eyes uh, because YouTube's profiting off of the money from the advertisers running ads on his channel and they're paying him a little bit of portion from it. So he's profiting from that, but the advertisers aren't actually advertising, sadly. So we'd contacted some advertisers and gotten a lot of you guys in the community to do the same. Um, and as a result of that, uh, it seems that two of Explore Lucid Dreaming's videos were claimed by a place called Studio 71 for using footage uh, uh, that they had owned in some of his uh, What Lucid Dreaming Looks Like videos. So uh, definitely one of them is claimed, but I, th I think the uh, he might have actually two um, strikes on that. So where he's sitting now is just kind of two strikes. He's got one strike. If he gets one strike in 90 days, if my calculations are correct, then his channel would be removed. So yeah, while we didn't really get a hold of any advertisers successfully that we know of, I mean, his channel is still there, it's still getting advertisements and that sort of thing. At least people who he was stealing from got to um, retaliate against him as well. So um, that was also another little win there that felt kind of good in addition to just exposing him anyway. And, and <laughs> the funny thing to talk about, um, which I meant to mention sooner, is that the way I can speak with such certainty about who Explore Lucid Dreaming is, is that he's made the mistake of publicly admitting to 
me having got his identity right in the video. And I actually, he, he, he complained to the mods of the Lucid Dreaming subreddit that I had doxed him when I actually had, and I'd gone to great lengths to hide his personal information in the video. And the only reason that I actually spoke his name in the video is because it was absolutely necessary to do so because some of his usernames were his real name. So if you put it, if you put your own information online like that, it's not doxing. Like that's like me trying to say someone doxed me for just using my name that I put online everywhere. It's it just, it doesn't hold water. But yeah, in the Lucid Dreaming subreddit, he had at least admitted that I got his identity correct. So we know this is the same person. We know that this person is not trustworthy and they are harming the community. Right now, YouTube hasn't done anything about it that I can tell. Hopefully they're investigating it, but who knows? Um, there's, you know, a little bit of room for us to kind of figure out how we're going to deal with this situation as a group. But I say, I mean, if you haven't reported him for this situation and, or maybe if, even if you don't know what's going on, watch the video in the description, that will be the mirror for my original exposed video, because you need to watch that if you're interested in lucid dreaming, because this person is coming in and they're making videos. And by the way, um, I think we had found that he had stolen almost verbatim words from another user who had a lucid dreaming video. Um, on YouTube, though I'm blanking on their name right now, so we'll just call that hearsay. But regardless, we have a person coming in to the lucid dreaming community, making these videos that are just the most basic blah, whatever, but that's just my opinion of his content. And then, like, that much I could deal with, I could handle somebody coming in and, and like someone else coming in and making more bad content on this on this topic that's just um, the most surface level glossed over information that you get from like a Google search. Not really adding value in that way is, is my personal problem, but a wider problem has emerged in where this person's coming into the lucid dreaming community and they are silencing our ability to talk to each other by bolstering their things with fake views and likes and bots and what have you and then putting other people's things down when they try to criticize him and making it so it can't be seen when you start to affect free speech you really are causing serious damage to whatever community you're in right like free speech is the one thing that all of our other freedoms rely on like if we can't speak our minds to each other openly and honestly and be heard, then we can't do anything else. We're always going to be in the dark. We are always going to have to listen to what uh, Big Brother has to say. You know, the people who actually have a voice are always going to be able to keep down the people who criticize them, and that's not right. So yeah, that's kind of where this stands, guys. So if you haven't, I would encourage you to get informed on this situation and then if you're compelled by the you know hard evidence that proves <laughs> what i'm saying then i would encourage you to report explore lucid dreaming um his videos his channel and that's how you can help